Hey guys, I'm Maddie. What's up guys, I'm Chase. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about our opinion on a pass-fail MCAT. Yeah, so let's get to it. So before we get started, please like and subscribe. It helps us out and lets us know what kind of content you guys want. Also, drop a comment down below what your opinions are or if you have a video in sp specifically that you want to see. So in recent years, medical schools have been saying that they want to weigh the MCAT less and less and actually saying that they are weighing it less during the admissions process. However, over that same amount of time, they've actually had increasing scores for their incoming classes. Yeah, so we've heard that many medical schools have said that a 500 on the MCAT should be good enough to be considered for any medical school. Yet these are the same schools that have over a 515 on the matriculation rates. Yeah, but I mean, this makes sense because it's an easy tool for them to measure everybody on the same playing field. So whether or not you went to a small school or a big school, um, an Ivy League, whatever, you're all taking the same test. So it makes sense that they want to use this as like a measuring stick right. to see if everybody's on the same playing field but i don't think that it's really fair to say that a 500 is a good score and that if you do get a 500 you can perform yeah. medical school but a lot of times people who get 500s don't even get an interview right so i think that because the mcat right now is very strategy based it's not based on you know content or knowledge it's not even based on medical knowledge or ethics, which we think it should go to and we can talk about later. But because of this, it's not preparing students to be a great physician later down the road. It can't determine if a student's going to be a good physician based on a three number score that the current MCAT has. Yeah. So our solution is either go pass fail, which a lot of medical schools are doing these days, or make the MCAT a more comprehensive test. Like Chase just said, it's a strategy test. There's a lot of biochemistry on it, but other than that, it's not a lot of actual knowledge that you need to know for medical school. So we think that it should be more based on knowledge that you should know coming into medical school, or maybe um, just like a lot of background knowledge, um, ethically or um, yeah. clinically. Yeah, and as of now, the step one exam, the exam that you take after the end of your, at the end of your second year, is going pass fail or is now pass fail. So I think the MCAT should take suit and mimic that, as well as medical schools. Those first two years are also becoming pass fail. So this is to help reduce stress. And I think that if the MCAT was pass fail, that would reduce stress on undergrads. Yeah, their um, their GPAs could go up, and you could focus more on classes, which again those classes are knowledge that you do need to know coming into medical school so they could actually focus on classes chase and i said in another video we basically pushed class to the side and said as long as we're getting okay grades like we weren't really studying for that because we were focusing on the mcat so much yeah. um and we were in biochemistry at the time so i think had we actually been focusing on classes more we would have gotten more out of it and been more prepared coming into medical school i think your biochem or physiology grades should be worth a whole lot more than how I did on a reading section that's basically a souped up ACT. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you have anything that you wanna to add to this conversation, drop it down in the comment section below. I'd like to see like a solid debate between people on what they think. Also, if you have any comments on what you wanna see in a later video, drop that down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.